Hey guys, Mohammed here again. Now, usually when it comes to PC accessories, RGB would be the first thing on my mind, followed by the more important things that should have been first, such as key travel, build quality, battery life, and so on. However, nowadays, I'm starting to dig the clean minimalistic look to help create that ergonomic desk environment. An example of this would be the Apple Magic Keyboard, which I think looks awesome. However, for the hefty price tag of 130 quid, it was an instant no from me. So when Cinder reached out to me asking to review their wireless keyboard and mouse pack, I wasted no time in saying yes and testing out these bad boys. In today's video, we're going to be unboxing, testing and reviewing the Cinder wireless keyboard and mouse combo pack and see if this product is truly worth purchasing. But before we do that, as always guys, if you enjoyed today's video or found it helpful, then please hit that like and subscribe button to support your boy, I'd really appreciate that. Now without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So one of the first things you'll notice straight away is both the keyboard and mouse are super thin in comparison to traditional devices. However, despite the compact size, the keyboard still provides features such as numlock, volume control and numpad, which usually tend to go missing in small factor builds. Both keyboard and mouse can connect wirelessly to your PC or laptop using a 2.4 GHz connection, which has a range of 26 feet. The device is literally plug and play, and once the USB receiver dongle is connected, both the keyboard and mouse are ready to go without needing to install any additional software. However, although most operating systems are supported, unfortunately the keyboard and mouse are not fully compatible with Mac OS systems, which is a real shame, but hopefully that's something Cinder can look into in the future. Both the keyboard and mouse have a rechargeable battery built inside, which Cinder claim can last up to two months based on the daily usage. The keyboard and mouse charges via micro USB cable provided inside, which I really wished was USB Type-C in order to benefit from fast charging. However, both products contain intelligent auto sleep functions, which powers off both devices when not in use in order to extend the battery life further. Finally, the products also come with 18 months warranty and 60 days money back guarantee when purchasing the wireless keyboard and mouse combo pack. In regards to the product breakdown, the keyboard weighs roughly around 350 grams and has a length of 14.4 inches. The mouse on the other hand weighs roughly around 70 grams, which is super light and has a length of 4.5 inches. The material is made from aluminium, which feels pretty strong and sturdy. You also have a range of colors to choose from, which include black, white, rose gold, and space gray. In regards to the keyboard, on front, you have the scissor switch keypads, as well as the power switch and LED indicator lights on top. On the side, you have the micro USB charge input. In regards to the mouse, on top, you have the left click, right click, and scroller. Towards the bottom, you have the power switch and the USB dongle receiver. Finally, on front, you have the micro USB charge input. In terms of packaging, on front, you have an image of the keyboard and mouse. Towards the back, you have an image again, as well as company information. And finally, on top, you have the company logo. Inside the box, you get the Cinda wireless keyboard, as well as one wireless mouse, one USB dongle receiver, one micro USB cable to charge your devices and a user manual on how to set up. The setup process is very very simple. Start by inserting the USB dongle into your computer and then flip the switch on both your keyboard and mouse. Once done, you should be good to go from here. Now for some testing. One of the first things I noticed straight away is that you don't get a lot of tactile feedback when pressing the keypads mainly due to its scissor switch design. So if travel is your main concern, then you're probably not going to get the most feedback here when pressing the buttons. However, from a functionality perspective, the keyboard and mouse really do work well when completing daily tasks. And I didn't notice any lag or delay when using both products, thanks to its stable 2.4 gigahertz connection. The range distance is also pretty good, but most of the time while I'm working, I'm pretty much glued to my desk anyway. When it comes to PC gaming, I don't usually use a keyboard and mouse as I prefer to use a controller instead. However, when testing the keyboard and mouse, I didn't notice any issues when playing. I'm sure there's other keyboards and mouses available out there that are specifically designed for gaming, but nevertheless, both seeing the devices worked well for me when gaming on my PC. The battery life is also good, and since I started using the device, I haven't received any low battery warnings, which is amazing. Finally, when it comes to charging, Cinder also claimed that both devices take roughly around one hour, until it's fully charged. Before we summarize guys, if you found today's video helpful or just simply enjoyed watching it, please show your boy some love by hitting that like button below. Your likes really do help support the channel and it really does mean a lot to me. Now, let's get back to the video. Overall, 
I gotta say guys, I am really impressed with Cinder's wireless keyboard and mouse pack. Aside the great quality build and design, what you get here is a long lasting keyboard and mouse which feels comfortable to use. If you're into the clean sleek design look, then these products are definitely perfect for you. The charge time is also really good and the built in battery will mean that you don't need to replace batteries each time your device ends up dying. However, as mentioned previously, if tactile feedback and travel is your main concern, then you're probably not going to find the best results here when using the Cinder keyboard. In addition, the lack of iOS support is also a bit of a shame. However, as a whole and for the price you pay, you definitely get your money's worth here. In regards to pricing, you can pick up the Cinder wireless keyboard and mouse combo pack from Amazon for around £36 and you can find the link to purchase in the description below. But that's all from me guys. Are you a fan of wireless accessories? And is the scene the wireless keyboard and mouse a device that you would purchase? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'm Mohammed from Tekka Reviews and I'll see you all in the next video.